High above the frozen pine forests of northern Sweden, beneath the glow of the aurora borealis, a silent revolution is taking place. It's not happening in front of cameras or under the global spotlight, but behind the thick walls of classified research centers, test ranges hidden deep in the tundra, and airfields known only to insiders. Sweden is building something the world hasn't seen before, something designed not just to fly, but to disappear, to dominate, and to lead. In 2025, while the great military powers of the world flex their arsenals, Sweden is preparing to unleash a weapon of such futuristic precision, it could change the entire balance of air warfare. And it's not coming from Washington, Beijing, or Moscow, it's coming from Stockholm. This is the story of how Sweden, a country with no global empire, no superpower status, and no history of conquest, is quietly building what could be NATO's secret aerial weapon, a sixth generation stealth fighter jet. To understand why this is such a big deal, you have to rewind the clock. Sweden's history in fighter aviation goes back generations, not in overwhelming numbers, but in sheer innovation. When the Cold War turned Europe into a chessboard of nuclear threat and political espionage, Sweden, despite being neutral, refused to be defenseless. It didn't rely on other countries to protect its skies. Instead, it built its own. Enter Saab. Saab isn't just a car manufacturer. It's a defense engineering powerhouse. Over the decades, Saab has delivered aircraft that were decades ahead of their time. The Saab Draken, with its double delta wing, looked like a UFO when it first appeared in the 1950s. The Viggen, introduced in the 1970s, could land on highways and take off in less than 500 meters. And then came the Gripen, Sweden's modern marvel. The Gripen was never about sheer muscle, it was about brains. A highly maneuverable multi-role fighter that required minimal maintenance could operate from makeshift runways, and was compatible with NATO systems long before Sweden officially joined the alliance. It was smart, nimble, and most of all, affordable. But now the bar has moved. The future of aerial combat no longer belongs to fourth or even fifth generation jets like the F-35 or Su-57. The future belongs to aircraft that think, adapt, and remain unseen. Sixth generation jets aren't just evolutions, they're revolutions, and Sweden wants in. Across the globe, the race is on. The United States has its NGAD program. The UK, Italy, and Japan are developing the Tempest project. France, Germany, and Spain are combining forces for FCAS. And Sweden, it's not trying to beat these countries, it's partnering with them. Through its involvement in Team Tempest, Sweden is co-developing stealth technologies, artificial intelligence, modular avionics, and advanced radar systems. Saab's role is critical, not just in design, but in strategic thinking. Sweden brings a unique perspective. How to make a fighter that's smart, stealthy, survivable, and doesn't break the defense budget. So what will this next-gen Swedish fighter be like? Picture this a tailless angular aircraft designed with blended surfaces that confuse radar and absorb electromagnetic waves. Its skin isn't just stealthy, it's intelligent, using sensor fusion to detect threats and relay them across a digital network of allied aircraft, drones, and ground forces. In the cockpit, a human pilot sits at the center, but they're not alone. An onboard AI co-pilot processes battlefield data, recommends maneuvers, flags incoming threats, and even manages electronic warfare systems. The pilot no longer has to juggle 10 things at once. They can focus on tactics because the aircraft itself is doing the calculations in real time. But it doesn't stop there. This fighter will command its own autonomous drone swarm, a network of robotic wingmen that can scout ahead, jam enemy radars, or act as decoys, all of them controlled from the cockpit or a central operations hub. It's not just air combat. It's a flying digital command center. And when the enemy finally does spot it, if they ever do, it's already moved, already fired, already won. This is the kind of aircraft Sweden is helping to build. A fighter not just for itself, but for NATO, for collective defense, for the unpredictable battles of tomorrow. And the timing couldn't be more perfect. In 2023, Sweden officially joined NATO after decades of neutrality. The move sent shockwaves across Europe. Suddenly, a country once known for staying out of alliances was now part of the most powerful military bloc on Earth. But unlike some new members, Sweden didn't just join. It brought value. 
From advanced submarines and cyber warfare units to elite special forces and state-of-the-art radar systems, Sweden entered the alliance ready to contribute. And its work on the sixth-generation fighter may be one of the most significant contributions yet. Because let's face it, NATO needs options. The F-35 is a powerful tool, but it's expensive, and its supply chain is complicated. European nations want alternatives. They want interoperability, but also independence. Sweden offers both. Its fighter jets can operate from short, icy runways in the Arctic, from narrow roads in the Baltics, or even from remote island bases in the North Sea. They can be refueled quickly, repaired easily, and deployed in numbers. And with Saab's track record of exporting to countries like Brazil, South Africa, and Hungary, Sweden knows how to deliver reliable, scalable air power. But perhaps most importantly, Sweden's design philosophy is grounded in resilience. Its military doctrine has always assumed it may have to fight alone. And so its fighters are built with redundancy, independence, and survival in mind. These aren't just showroom pieces. They're workhorses, made to fight, made to win. And as the world tilts back toward great power conflict, with tensions simmering in the Baltics, the Arctic, and even in cyberspace, NATO needs more than numbers. It needs technology, precision, stealth, and speed. Sweden's fighter, born from cold skies and brilliant minds, might just be the answer. Of course, challenges remain. Developing a sixth-gen platform is expensive. Timelines slip, technologies change, and political winds shift. But if there's one country that has consistently delivered more with less, more innovation, more effectiveness, more survivability, it's Sweden. So when that new fighter finally takes to the skies in the late 2020s or early 2030s, it may not look flashy. It may not fly in giant formation over parades, but it will be there, patrolling silently, sharing data with allies, staying just out of sight until it's time to strike. And when it does, the enemy won't even know what hit them. Because Sweden's secret weapon isn't just stealth. It's subtlety. It's efficiency. It's the ability to build world-class power without world stage bluster. In the skies of the future, where information flows faster than bullets and drones outnumber jets, victory will belong to the nimble, the connected, the quiet. And Sweden? Sweden has always been quiet. But now it may just be the quietest force to fear. Because some weapons don't roar, some weapons whisper, and by the time you hear them, it's already too late.